welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we're going to be showing you how we pour and finish a 1500 square foot concrete garage pad inside of some office buildings We want to thank you for tuning in and we invite you to stay watching until the end so that way you can see the entire process. We have rebar everywhere at 24 inches on center. We also doweled the rebar into the existing concrete that way it has a lot better attachment. And here in a little bit we're going to go ahead and speed up the process that way you can see how we pour and do the work. One of the tools that we utilize immediately after we pour is this four foot wide bull float. This comes in very handy. We're gonna go ahead and run this through all of the surface. After we screeded everything, then we run that bull float. And uh, the rebar, uh, most of it was on chairs. Some of it, we're just pulling it by hand, uh, making sure that it's all inside of the concrete. And then we have our hand floats that um, we're just working the uh, concrete all around the edges there. So that way, um, you know, we get that nice level throughout that area. And uh, we're almost getting to the end point here. We're also utilizing a pump. This helps us, you know, since we have all the rebar everywhere, um, we can easily just pour everything and uh, we have several of our workers right here they have those come along rakes those come in very handy they're able to push the concrete they're able to pull it we have those this project right here took about 28 concrete yards and everything for the most part went pretty smoothly this right here you see the screed board that's a pretty long uh, screed board that we're using right here 
this is so that way we can get uh, the same level from one end all the way to the other end we're using um, at the left side you know we have some existing concrete there so we're following that level and then on the right side as well we have uh, at the level that we had established on the other side so we're just screening the concrete all the way through and uh, this is the end point where the garage entry is so we basically you know make sure that we have all the concrete that's necessary and uh, we just finish you know the screening all the way to the end point and uh, after that once the concrete you know dries a little bit then we go in right away and then we start using the edger that's the tool that you see right there so we run the edger tool all along uh, where it meets with the existing concrete so one of the ways we get into the area is we have these sliders so those come in very handy you can um, actually walk on all of the surface even though it's still very uh, fresh and uh, we can use those sliders and it helps us just like you see right there he's just kind of gliding there through the fresh concrete he's not sinking too much so those are very very good and then at that point he can just get right into the concrete so right here he's just working all of the edges where normally it would be really hard to get to but with those sliders it makes our job a lot easier so he has his hand float his hand trowel he's just working up all the edges about three feet from the um you know from the edge he has an edging tool right there he has his other tools everything ready so he's just working it as as he goes uh from the very far back area all the way to the um, entry door so as you can tell right there he's just making sure all the edges are nice and clean any concrete that maybe got a little bit over poured he's just scraping that up and putting it into into the uh, fresh concrete area and then he you know he presses that kind of smoothens it out all over the place and so um, this right here is very good because we're able to find you know if there's any low spots or if we need a little bit more concrete we can go ahead and and get some of that and and make sure that everything is is uh nice and and level throughout so we're going to be doing this process quite a few times you'll be able to see that we still have a decent amount of cream on the very surface so that's going to make his job easier so he can um, move that cream around fill in all the areas and then after he does this first pass then we're going to use the power trowel and the power trowel will be able to go over the entire area so that's kind of how it's looking right now everything that he worked so far and there we have a three foot wide power trowel this is a very useful tool so basically um, we just glide that all over the surface and it's giving us that trowel uh, finish we're gonna have to go uh, give it several passes through this is one of the first phases that we're um, you know putting this through you can still see that it's, it's pushing around a lot of the concrete right there so this is the very first time we've applied it that's kind of how it's looking so we're going to be doing this you know several times throughout the time and then um we actually poured this concrete i would say like around 7 30 in the morning and uh at this point it's around like 11 30 ish and we're gonna go ahead and uh it looks like the concrete will be ready around 3 30 or 4 o'clock so at that time we should be going uh with the power trial at the last um you know the last time and then uh, it's going to give us that really nice uh shiny gloss finish so that's what the customer requested they want the trial finish on here so this is going to be a, a space that they're going to be renting it out to some tenants so the concrete beforehand it was it was pretty rough shape so we had to 
break everything, demo, remove it, uh, and then you know pour this new concrete right here. So, at the same time, you know, once we give it a pass over with the power trowel, you see our other gentleman over there. He's going uh, with the edger. So that's one thing that we're gonna go back and forth. So we're gonna, you know, give it a pass all the way through with the power trowel. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and, and run our uh, edger tool all along the, the perimeter. So that way we get the nice defined um, edges all the way through, kind of like what you see right here. So we're gonna do this process, you know, like I said, several times over and over. And uh, these are our sliders. You know, basically it gets a little bit of the of the concrete cream kind of stuck on it. So we remove that and, and use it in the same surface. So right here we're giving it another pass with our power trowel we're doing this over the entire surface and we just kind of go like in a back and forth motion he kind of sees you know where the um where the power uh, trowel kind of left at the very last time and he just kind of goes you know um he kind of gets even coverage you know throughout all the areas just kind of goes back and forth in in like circular motions and as we mentioned before you know as we are um doing that we're also doing the edging um you know we have a couple of our workers right there they're you know helping each other out um, both of them are pretty much doing the same thing just working the concrete right along the edge and then also um you know with the surface with their float and their trowel um just doing the the whole entire edge and this is something that we're doing repeated times i think they've done it maybe like three four times um they have a few you know and and as they go it's going to get a little easier you know because they have a lot of the prep work this this makes sure everything is kind of like 
right where it needs to be. And then and then they're just going to give it like a little Passover um, after each time. So um, I'm going to just speed up the, you know, the video and uh, that way you can just see it's pretty much the same process over and over. But um, this is kind of what we do with the trial finish. We hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be uploading content on a daily basis. And that way you can um, see all kinds of different concrete work that we do. May God bless you. And we'll see you on the next video. This is the final product, the end result, after we went over with the power trial the final time. And as you see through the video, you'll be able to see kind of like the, the marks on the surface, you know, of how the machine went through. But you can also see like some of the shiny areas there. All of this is going to dry. Um, it's going to continue to cure. And every day, you know, all of all of those um, kind of marks that you see on the top, it's going to fade away and it's going to be one nice, continuous, shiny, uh, trial finished surface. Overall, this project went really great. We were very happy, very pleased with the work and how everything turned out. And uh, this is the day we poured it. We finished it, everything. The next day, we're going to come back and do the sock cuts. We didn't do them this day because, uh, you know, that's something we can always do the following day. So we're going to bring one of those special uh, machines that you kind of walk behind and it cuts. And um, we're going to run string lines and everything, make sure everything is nice and straight. So that's pretty much it.